Continuing the Desert Fathers translations of Helen Waddell. We are in the Sayings of the Fathers, Book 11, That One Ought to Live Soberly. 1. A brother X, the abbot, Arsenius, that he might hear some word from him. And the old man said to him, Whatever power thou hast, strive that life, which is within thee, may be according to God, and may conquer the passions of the outer man. He said again, If we seek God, he will appear to us, and if we hold him, he will stay with us. 2. The abbot Agatho said, A man ought not to have his conscience able to accuse him in aught whatsoever. Now, when the aforesaid abbot Agatho was dying, he remained for three days motionless, holding his eyes open, and the brethren shook him, saying, Father, where art thou? And he answered, I stand in sight of the divine judgment. And they said, Art thou afraid? And he said, Here I have toiled with what strength I had to keep the commandments of God, but I am a man and I know not whether my works have been pleasing in his sight. And the brethren say to him, And hast thou no confidence that thy works are according to God? And the old man said, I do not presume until I have come before God, for the judgments of God are other than the judgments of men. And when they would have questioned him for further speech, he said to them, Show me your love, and speak not to me, for I am busy. And this said straight away with joy, he sent forth his spirit. For they saw him gathering his spirit together. As one who greets dear friends, he had great guard in all things, and used to say that without watchfulness a man may climb to no virtue. For the abbot Amois said at the beginning to the abbot Arsenius, How dost thou see me now? And he said, as an angel, Father. Now well, after he asked him again, Now, how dost thou see me? And he said, As Satan, for even if thou art making good discourse, it is to me as a sword. 5. The abbot Alois said, Unless a man shall say in his heart, I alone and God are in this world, he shall not find quiet. 6. He said again, If a man willed it, in one day, up till evening, he might come with the measure of divinity. Well, he might consider himself like a deity or, you know, the extremes of a co-worker with God, as people would call it. Um, eight. At one time, the abbot Daniel and abbot Amois were going on a journey together, and the abbot Mois said, When, thank you, Father, shall we be sitting in our cell? The abbot Daniel said to him, And who hath taken God from us? And now is God out of doors, and now is God in the cell. 14. It was said of the abbot John that he was once plating palm leaves to make two baskets and used them all in one basket but knew it not till it reached the wall. For his mind was taken up with the contemplation of God. 15. There was an old man in the skeet who had indeed endurance of body, but not much heedfulness in remembering what was said to him. So he went to the abbot John the Short to consult him about forgetfulness, and after hearing his discourse, returned to his cell and forgot what the abbot John had said. Again he went and questioned him, but as soon as he reached his cell, he forgot what he had heard, and so after much going to and fro, forgetfulness overmastered him. Some time after meeting the abbot, he said, Father, dost thou know that I again forgot what thou didst say to me? But I did not come back, lest I should be a trouble to thee. And the abbot John said, Go, light the lamp. And he lit it. And he said, Bring other lamps, and light them from this one. And he did so, and the abbot John said to the old man, Is the lamp injured and odd, that thou hast let the others from it? And he said, Nay. 
so neither is John injured if all skeet should come to us, nor am I hindered from the love of God. Come therefore when thou wilt, hesitating not at all, and so by the patience of them both God freed the old man of forgetfulness, for that indeed was the business of them that dwelt in skeet, to give courage to those who were besieged by any passion and who struggled and travail with themselves, that they might come to good. 28. At one time, when the abbot Silvanus was living in Mount Sinai, his dis disciple was desirous to go about his task, and said to the old man, Release the water and water the garden. And as he went out to release the water, he covered his face with his hood, so that he looked only at his feet. It befell that at that very hour a certain man came to visit him, and seeing him from a long way off, wondered what he might be doing. And when he came up with him, he said, Tell me, father, why didst thou cover thy face with thy hood, and so water the garden? And the old man said, Lest mine eyes should see the trees, and my mind be taken up with looking upon them, and cease from its tax. 29. The abbot Moses asked the abbot Silvanus, saying, Can a man every day make a beginning of good life? The abbot Silvanus answered him, if he be diligent, he can every day and every hour begin the good life anew. 30. Certain men once asked Abbot Silvanus, saying, Under what discipline of life hast thou labored to have come at this wisdom of thine? And he answering said, Never have I suffered to remain in my heart a thought that angered me. 32. The Holy Synclitica said, Let us live soberly, for through the senses of our body, even though it be against our will, thieves do enter in, for how shall the house not be darkened if the smoke rising without shall find the windows open? 43. A brother said to an old man, I see no war in my heart. And the old man said to him, Thou art like a chariot gate, and whosoever may enter and go, and come where he pleases, and thou knowest not what is going on, but if thou hadst a door, what is shut it, nor evil thoughts to come by it, then wouldst thou see them standing without, and warring against thee. And the easiest way for there not to be an emotional conflict is if you love for the sake of God, and you love God more than all else combined, then your love is, and, and your hope and your fear and your hate, is, it's all um, through there, and then there's not a conflict. Um, 44. They told of a certain old man, when it's not said to him, Let be today, thou shalt repent tomorrow. He would contradict them, saying, Nay, but I shall repent today, tomorrow, May the will of God be done. 51. A certain brother was steeping palm leaves in his cell, and when he sat down to weave the plates, his thoughts said to him to go and visit a certain old man. And again he thought within himself and said, I shall go in a few days. And again his imagination said to him, If he should die meanwhile, what should I do? I shall go now and talk to him, because it is summer weather. And again he said to himself, now is not the time, and again he thought to himself, But when thou art cutting bulrushes to make mats, that is the time. And again he said, I shall spread out these palm leaves, and then I shall go. And again he said to himself, But today is a fine day, and in getting up he left the palm leaves steeping, and took his sheepskin and went off. But there was an old man near his near neighbor, a far-seeing a far -seeing man, and seeing him walking eagerly, he called out to him, Prisoner, prisoner. Whither art thou running? Come here to me. And when he had come, the old man said to him, Go back to thy cell. And the brother told him the ebb and flow that had been his, in his thoughts. And so went back to his cell, and coming in, he fell upon his face and did penance. And when he had finished, there was a great shout of devils, saying, Thou hast conquered, monk! Thou hast conquered! And the mat on which he was lying was burnt as with fire, but the demons vanished like smoke. And so that brother learned their wiles. Or, you know, so he thought, right? 
Um, so rather than just, um, is it Galatians 5? Uh, talking about, you know, um, you know, you don't die in attic and you don't, um, you know, to, to intoxicants, but, um, and you don't ritually use intoxicants. But, well, what about the wine and the mass, right? But they take it to a further extent. A sobriety that's, you know, in actions and emotions beyond just, you know, whether a person's wasted or not.